heard of sleepwalking or people talking in their sleep, but there's another sleep disorder that you probably have never heard of. It's both bizarre and terrifying. Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra has more new at five. David Moorhead would kick in his sleep while he was dreaming. Both legs, both feet, as hard as I could kick. <laughs> Because most of the time I was fighting with someone or it was anger. This was a symptom of a sleep problem, REM sleep behavior disorder. Your body cycles through REM or rapid eye movement sleep every 60 to 90 minutes, with most of it occurring later in sleep. Its function isn't clear, but normally during REM, a phase associated with dreaming, your muscles are paralyzed. But for some people, something goes wrong. REM sleep behavior disorder, patients abnormally will move and they'll act out dreams. So a common complaint people have is that they're kicking or punching or fighting. It can be quite serious. I have seen patients who will punch through the wall at night and end up with broken bones. Uh, I have seen patients who have um, uh, hit their spouse and caused uh, you know, physical harm, not anything on purpose, but it's just a, a manifestation of the, the, the disorder. I sat up on my knees in bed and punched the wall at the head of the bed as far as hard as I could in the midst of a deep dream. And I do remember that because my hand hurts. <laughs> I landed right here on, a, on this tile floor, out of bed, diving for a football in a, a, a fumble in a football game. No one knows why it happens, though in some cases it can be traced to sleep medication, antidepressants, and alcohol. There is a link with certain neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's disease, though the two do not always occur together. It can also be seen with other sleep disorders. David, for example, also has sleep apnea, a problem where he stops breathing while asleep. He was also evaluated for restless leg syndrome, which occurs during non-REM sleep, just like sleepwalking and sleep talking. Those are what we call non-REM parasomnias. A sleep study can show a person being active during REM sleep. Luckily, the disorder responds well to treatment, such as a sedative called clonazepam, or high-dose melatonin, a sleep hormone. Also, bedroom safety is part of the treatment plan, moving the bed away from the window and moving lamps and other objects away from the bed. With medication, David is doing better. I don't have as much movement and as much action. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA TV News.